Okay. Um, over. Okay, this is uh, 16 of February. Will this 16 of Yes. 2016. Then uh, this, this uh, Maltese uh, male neutered 12 years old comes in with the complaint of actually the hair loss and tail biting, the hair loss on the back end and tail biting, right? Mm. And uh, the dog was treated by me in uh, October last year, which is uh, four months ago. According to, <coughs> to the owner, that the dog didn't recover fully, right? Uh, only it, after, I mean, it, it subsided after a while, but it came back. It came back. Okay. Mm. At that time also, the inner sex, <coughs> according to my records, has no oil. So today again, no oil. So, so it's, it's not an inner sac infection. Normally, inner sac infection, there will be oil coming out when I press like this. And then just now I put my finger in, glove finger to, to, to check the inner sac. But it's practically empty now. Why would the dog be biting the tail, you see? And, and here. And uh, also biting the leg, as you can see there. The leg. Okay, then we turn the dog upside down. And we will see again. Ready? Anyway, we'll do it. Okay, so we turn the upside down. Okay, then we up on the table. Come. Now you will see that actually the dog has generalized skin infections. You can see on the lower part. These are the bacteria or fungus with your hand off mm. until the armpit. So on this part is ventral dermatitis, uh, means on contact with the floor, uh, mm. and and uh, something irritated the dog uh, skin. Uh. Who cut the hair? Somebody cut the hair. Oh, we went to a groomer. Mm. So they cut the hair because there was there was a skin. Uh, pimples are rashes, right? That was before cutting, after cutting, the rashes are there. I was saying before. Huh? The rashes were already there, right? Uh, before the groomer clips. I mean, um, after the groomer cut, we, we just realized it more. Okay, so yeah. I can see that this dog really had this uh, generalized skin infection uh, and it spread due to the dog biting, mm. biting himself. And it spread to here, you can see. Uh, with, uh, no, your hand, no, your hand. So it spread further, you see there? So, so the diagnosis is actually generalized pustular dermatitis, uh, mainly on the the back half of the body. But actually, if you examine carefully, it's just zoom the thing we do. You don't need to put nearer. What do you need to mm -hmm. put nearer? It's just zoom. Yeah. Only to then push near the dog back, back the lens. Uh. Okay. So now then I check the ears because many of these cases are due to the ear being uh, infected. Uh, so I just palpate the ears. But no pain. No, not not like the poodle just now. Poodle was screaming. Okay, no pain. A bit. So so I did put the cotton bud in to, to check, and you can see that there's very dirt, a lot of dirt inside the horizontal canal, both both ears. Huh? So the one shouldn't cause this, but uh, sometimes it does. Uh. So you see the dog doing this. Did the dog do this? You see the back leg too. Oh yeah. Ah, so mm. normally the one is due to the ear each. And then when the dog does this, mm. both sides, right? Mm. Uh, normally those are the ear, ear irritation. Uh. So in, in some dogs, when they have ear irritation or ear pain, they, they, they also bite the flank. Does, 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 does he bite the flank? Bite with his mouth? Yeah, he does. Uh, so these are the cases whereby they, 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 they traumatize their own skin. And then over the last three months, the, the drug effect has gone off. So. Mm. The bacteria came back, they can see that these are the back bacteria mm. spots. Uh. Was it pimples at first? Yes, it was. It uh. was like, like little bumps. Then what do you use? Uh, we, I didn't really know what to do, but I think my mom just waved him. What did they use? Do you know? Uh, from some liquid, um, this huh? li greenish liquid. Uh, from from shampoo. Uh. Mm. Uh. So unfortunately, the shampoo didn't work. So now, now you can see the best is to shave the hair all gone. Again? Oh, okay. Because of the fact that the, it's all spread really. So what happens is all these bacteria and fungus will be at the side, mm -hmm. at the base of the hair. Do we and, have and to shave? And then the environment also, I mean you can see it's bad. Because by, by shaving board then you can apply the wash easier. Mm -hmm. So now I will do a test for fungus. Huh? I will check whether there is a ringworm no, or not. Because there's no inner sac problems, uh. they're not a serious ear infection. So I'll check for ringworm. Many of these cases are not very clear cut. It's not, it's not clear cut like ringworm where you have rings. Mm -hmm. Although previously there might be ringworm. Because
because because the mother applied the shampoo, uh, so we can't tell really because the shampoo might have anti ringworm uh, properties. Uh. So let's up again. Let me get some. Which is the recent one? Recent area? Uh, Probably the tail. I see the tail. Yeah. It was red yesterday. With some hair. Is it, uh, as I said, you know, the red is go so close to me. All you need is to zoom the thing and more or less you will get it actually. Okay, so I check under the microscope. Any more other area? Mm, I was in the back. Oh, it's pink. You don't like it. No, no. Well, the other way is to use ultraviolet light to, to show the real world. But, uh, but the microscopic examination of the hair uh, will give you the answer as well. There's a lot of scales there. Is this not a dendro? Um, not, I'm not too sure. Okay, so there are, there are signs of ringworm infestation in the hair. So that, that is the reason that you see after three months it was still around. Last time was it, it was quick bored, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then do you apply the wash, the green, green yes. color? For how long? Mm, I think we gave him every week. There's still some side of the ring bone. Uh, if you want to see, I'll show you. Anyway, if you still have under the microscope, mm. the normal hair is very clean. Uh, mm. Normal one. But if you ring worm, you will have the spores. Mm. Like the side, which you can see from there. Mm -hmm. you have a look? Oh, it's okay, yeah. Okay, so the best recommendation is to shape bone and uh, then take the antibiotic, uh, antibiotics and anti ring mm. tablets. That will be the best one. So you have to ask the mother first. Okay. But the inner side is not a problem. Okay. Not the ears and the skin. Okay. Just stop. Can you hear me? Stop pressing.